Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about Dom's brush pens. Now this has been one of the highly requested videos and it took me a long time to get these. They were shipped from India, but I'm super happy that I can review them for you. I know that I have a lot of subscribers from India and these are more easily accessible in India than anywhere else. So let's first talk about what they are. They are a super soft tip brush pen and they are available in 14 shades. They are crafted to create thick and thin strokes with their soft tip that gives a watercolor effect with its water-based ink. Dom's brush pens enable you to create luminous paintings of your choice. Now, there's actually no information on how to store these. So whenever I am unsure, I always suggest storing pens horizontally. And that way you won't have any issues with the ink running or drying out. Next, we'll talk about the upstrokes and the downstrokes. So with these pens, you can create a huge contrast between thin upstrokes and thick downstrokes. The thick belly allows for that huge downstroke. The tip is extremely flexible and does not give much feedback on your upstrokes. So this means that it's difficult to feel your nib on the paper on those upstrokes, which can make it difficult to create a consistent upstroke. It's also fairly difficult to transition on oval strokes or when going from thin to thick lines. To me, the nib is almost too flexible and doesn't give you enough bounce back. As you can see on the nib, after writing for a little while, it stays somewhat flexed and doesn't bounce back to its original position. Now let's talk about the blendability. These pens have great blendability and I'd say that they are made more for watercolor or adding shadows to a letter more than a base brush pen. They transition well from color to color. However, with only 14 shades available, it does limit on how much you can blend because you don't have a lot of similar colors. So next we'll talk about what paper you should use with them. This set actually came with five sheets of Canson Montval watercolor paper. So I would think that it's recommended to use these with watercolor paper. And again, this gives me a sense that these should be used for watercolor artwork versus just strictly lettering. With a nib this soft, it will definitely fray with consistent use on a textured paper. But like I said, they're literally sending the watercolor paper with the pens. So I would think that they want you to use the watercolor paper for these pens. And I always tell people to be weary of using brush pens on textured paper. And this is just because if you want to prolong the life of your pens, then I always suggest using a smoother paper. Now, I can't say I always follow those rules, but it is better to use a smoother paper if possible. So I have looked and I have found these in actually two different types of sets. They both come in sets of 14, however, one set includes the 12 colors plus the gold and the silver, and the other one, which I have, includes the 14 colors like the teal and the ochre color. Here I'm going to do a demo with some water so you can see how easily they act like watercolors. So that's really nice because sometimes pens can dry quick, but these ones don't dry super fast. As you can see, the pen takes really well to the gradient and it creates this nice smooth transition. Now to use these as watercolors, you can color on a ceramic palette or a piece of plastic and just use a brush with some water and bam, you have some watercolor. And it's nice and portable. You don't have to carry a palette around with you. You can just bring some pens. So my overall opinion of these Dom's brush pens is that they are great for watercolor work. If you want something that's easy to travel with, you can use these. And I also know from some of my friends in India that these are affordable where they live and that there aren't a ton of options as far as brush pens go. 
but in the US these are actually very pricey and I actually just purchased them to do this review. I would not repurchase and I would not suggest any of my US friends purchase these just because there are much cheaper options that are a better option for beginners. I will say though that I do love how vibrant the colors are and I love how they blend really easy. So those are definitely two positives that I like about these Dom's brush pens. you guys enjoyed this review thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions about these pens or if you'd like me to review any other kinds of pens don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any videos and i look forward to seeing you in the next one Bye.